So today I'm talking about a P0748 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0748 code? Well, it's a pressure control solenoid A electrical. And what does this mean? Well, basically transmissions have a lot of solenoids built into them that are all doing different things. And one of these solenoids called pressure control solenoid A is having some kind of issue. It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So the computer is sending out this P0748 code and it'll have to be troubleshooting a Y. And one thing to note about this code is it can be difficult to troubleshoot and fix sometimes, mainly because it requires working on the transmission, which usually requires draining the fluid, removing the pan, working with a lot of small components and different things like this. So just keep in mind that fixing this code can be kind of hard to do sometimes. And so what are some possible causes of a P0748 code? Well, the first thing to do, if possible, is go check your transmission fluid and be sure that it's not really low or really dirty or anything like this. Some vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can, go and check it. Be sure it's at the correct level because low transmission fluid can't cause issues. If the transmission fluid is really dirty, it might be causing issues. There might be a problem with that. It could also be clogging up the transmission filter or things along these lines. So you can get the transmission fluid changed and see if that solves the problem. One thing to keep in mind whenever you go to change out transmission fluid is that depending on the transmission, it can vary, is that sometimes when the transmission fluid is changed out on high mileage transmissions that have never been maintained, sometimes can cause issues. Like I said, it can vary. So you can't do some research on your particular transmission. And if it's been maintained regularly and had fluid changed out when it was supposed to be changed out, then very likely you wouldn't have no issues. But just keep in mind that changing out transmission fluid on a transmission that has a lot of miles on it and the fluid and the filter were never replaced, sometimes it gets changed out and then that causes more issues. But like I said, be sure to do some research on that. But the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. The next thing that could cause this is a bad pressure control solenoid A or the wiring going to the solenoid. If there's any problems with the wires going to the solenoid, then that's going to have the same symptoms as a bad solenoid. If you do go to work on your transmission, you will need to get a diagram to know where all those solenoids are located, which ones are which, and different things along these lines, since there will be differences. And once you locate it, there's some different ways to go about testing it. You can use a multimeter and check it for ohms. And basically, if it's open, you know it's bad. But you can also look up what the rated ohms are supposed to be for that solenoid. So say that solenoid is supposed to be like 11 ohms, but you're getting like this, like 10.7 or something like that. Then you know it's bad and it needs to be replaced. You can also check out the wiring going to the solenoid to be sure that's good. Check for voltages and different things like this. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad pressure control solenoid A or the wiring going to it. The next thing that can cause this is that there's some kind of transmission issue that's causing that solenoid not to be able to work. And so there might not be no issue with the solenoid or anything like this, but there's something else going on with the transmission and that's causing that solenoid not to be able to work correctly. And this would be something like a bad pump, a bad valve body. There's like a blocked passage inside of there that's stopping the fluid from flowing correctly or something along these lines. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of transmission issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of computer problem going on. And this isn't too common. Usually when you get a P0748 code, there's something else going on. But it is possible that the computer's gone bad, that there's some kind of problem going on there. If you do think it has a computer problem, be sure the battery is good. Be sure the alternator is charging correctly. Be sure the computer module has a good ground. Because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply or else that can cause problems and can throw them off. But like I said, it's fairly rare for one of these to fail. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0748 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.